super fight here at PGL 5, Tom Manelski out of BJJ Shore Academy, and John Nandor the Barbarian. <laughs> Nandor the Barbarian in the black. A couple Manelski, more big no guys. Shirt. Yeah, man. These are some big, strong guys. Manelski looks for that leg drag or arm drag right to the single, puts Nandor uh, right on his back here. Nandor comfortable from his back, though. Nice pass here. Going over under, looking to push that leg through his Manelski. And these guys are some big, strong guys. Yeah, man. Nice pass. Right to side control. Yeah, but, uh, Nandor on bottom, looking to try to create some space. Got that form right in the side of Manelski's neck there, trying to push away. Looking to get back to guard. And Nandor looks like he's okay in that in that uh, butt scoop position there. He's fine with accepting that guard position. And you usually don't see that from the bigger guys. No, and Man Manelski looking for a pass here. And he's, he's staying away. He's not engaging into the into the actual guard of Nandor. He's staying to the outside, um, more of like a, a bullfight type pass. Right, and why should he? Why should he engage in, in Nandor's game? Play right into his game, exactly. Now he stays on the outside, and he's, he's going to get the pass from it, it looks like. If, if anything, he's, he's, it looks good in the judge's eyes. Yeah, ab absolutely. He's not getting caught up in any kind of sweeps or submission attempts. And he's aggressive. Yeah, yeah, he's being very aggressive from this top. Again, Nandor, a tall guy, he's actually really doing a good job of using his arms here to kind of keep the space and keep the pressure off his chest and his head uh, from Manelski here, who is definitely a, a pressure fighter here. And he may be looking to try to try to wear Manelski out, but let him uh, use up some of his energy. But it looks like this guy's got a tank on him. Yeah, and, and you're a hundred percent right there. Where you know Nandor's not using much effort to keep him away. It's really just an, an extended right arm that's that's keeping him away. But now Manelski's looking to go knee on belly here, and, and he's still in a dominant position. He's in a side control position. Right. And Manelski on top, John Nandor on the bottom. So Nandor can't wait and, you know, hope hope that he'll wear out in the later rounds because you never know what's going to happen. Especially in the PGL. Might be looking to look, lock up a, uh, a Kimura here. Brown's getting ready to come to an end. But Manelski, he's going to have to pop up on that quick. He gets it behind. Nice. Nandor, good D. Maybe able to get a straight arm lock here. Nandor defends nicely. Right back to that Kimura. We're going to pop on it again. Whoa. Manelski jumps over top. Go for the toe hold. He's going to oh, get the tap. Oh, man. Gets the tap literally as time Fantastic. is expiring. Wow. One second left on the clock. Dude, you never and know Manelski's what's going to happen. going to take it. Manelski gets the tap toe hold. One second left. Beautiful. Uh, that was fantastic. Yeah, I, I don't that. think Nandor was expecting that at all. He was defending the arm from the Kimura, and Manelski jumped right over top wow. and he saw that foot free. I have a, that, that, you know, that's what we come here for. Beautiful, beautiful match. Yeah, that was exciting. Very nice. Tom Manelski, BJJ Shore Academy, training under Bill Scott. He's going to he's gonna take this PGL victory. Nice. Great Tom job. Manelski win by toe hold with one second left in round one. Even Nandor surprised.